and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there were no more sea. Hola Dominical, el 7 de agosto de 2022, un nuevo hogar de Apocalipsis 21, versículo de 1 al 9. Seven. Lingung Pasok, August 7, 2022. Isang bagong tahanan. Apocalypse 21 to 9. Bagong langit at bagong lupa. Verse 1. Pagkatapos nakakita, ako ang bagong langit at ang bagong lupa. Sapagkat lumipas na ang unang langit at ang unang lupa at wala na ang dalat. Revelation 21 verse 2 And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Verse 2 Nakita ko rin bumaba mula sa langit galing sa Diyos ang banal na lungsod ang bagong Jerusalem inihandog, inahandag, inahandang tulad ng isang babae na ikakasara sa ina, inayusan para sa kanya. Okay, and I heard the great voice out of the heaven say, Behold, the power of God is with men, and He will dwell with them, and they shall be His people. And God accepts to be with them, and be their God. Amen. At mula sa trono, isang malakas na pini ang aking narinig. Key verse, uh, Revelations 21, verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Ready. Enjurará Dios toda lágrima de los ojos de ellos, y ya no habrá muerte, ni habrá más llanto, ni clamor, ni dolor, porque las primeras cosas So sing talata, pahayag 21.4 Papahirin niya ang bawat luha sa kanilang mga mata Hindi na magkakaroon ng kamatayan Ni magkakaroon ng pagluluksa at pagtagis At kahit kirot ay di na rin mararanasan Sapagkat lumipas na ang mga unang bagay He that sat upon the throne said Behold, I make all things new and he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. Verse 5. At nagsalita ang taupo sa trono. Ngayon, ginagawa kong bago ang lahat ng bagay. Sinabi ko rin niya, Isulat mo sapagkat ang mga salitang ito ay tapat at totoo. Amen. He said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. Pagkatapos ay sinabi niya sa akin, nangyari na, ako ang alpha at ang omega, ang simula at ang wakas. Sa nauuhaw ay ibibigay ko ng walang bayad ang tubig mula sa bukal ng tubig ng buhay. Revelation chapter 21 verse 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Ang nagtatagumpay ay magmamana ng mga ito. At ako ang magiging Diyos niya. At siya ay magiging anak ko. Verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Pangwalo, ngunit para sa mga duwa, sa mga hindi sumasampalataya, sa mga karumaldumal, mga mamamatay na tao, mga mapakiapid, mga mangkukulang, mga sumasamba sa Diyos-Diyosan, at sa mga sinungaling, ang kakalagayan nila ay lawa na magliliyad sa apoy at asupre, ito ang ikalawang kamatayan. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven veils full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying, Come hither and I will shew thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. Okay, verse 9. Pagkatapos, ang isa sa pitong anghel na may pitong mangko 
na puno ng pitong huling sanot ay dumating at nagsabi sa akin, Halika, ipapakita ko sa iyo ang babaeng ikakasal, ang asawa ng kordero. Yeah. Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to another Sunday School lesson. Today we're going to come to you from Gonzales, Louisiana, just shy of Baton Rouge. Uh, the lesson today is called A New Home. Uh, this, this lesson is going to come from Revelation. All our previous lessons uh, for the month of July have been coming from the book of John. So now we still have the same author, John, but now we're going to the book of Revelation. We're going to go deeper. So today's lesson is going to come from uh, chapter 21 of Revelation, the first half. Uh, the very next lesson, we have a guest speaker that's going to speak on the second half of chapter 21. In the last uh, Sundays of August, we'll, we'll talk on Revelation 22. Thanks again to all the guys that's reading the scripture, the translation of the prayers. Without further ado, we'll have our opening prayer. All right, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we come to learn more about you through your word. Open our hearts and minds and teach us through this Sunday school lesson. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Padre, limpia nuestros corazones y mentes para recibir voluntariamente tu palabra. Entonces esconde tu palabra salvadora en nuestros corazones para que no pequemos contra ti. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amén. 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 Empezar tayo, ama. Dinisin mo ang aming mga puso at isipan upang usang loob na natanggapin ang inyong mga salita. Pagkatapos ay itago ang inyong mga salita na nagliligtas sa aming mga puso na hindi kami nagkakasala laban sa inyo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kami ay nanalangin. Amen. 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 Thanks again for our prayers. Thanks again for the scripture readings. Okay, the uh, Revelation, the book of Revelation itself is broken down into basically three parts. Part one is in the first 11 verses of chapter one. That's going to reveal that Jesus is the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. And he's got a message for the seven churches. So, uh, the second part is chapters 2 through 3. And he actually addressed the, the message here. So, uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 11, it says, Saying, I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia unto Ephesus, unto Smyrna unto Pergamos unto Thyatira unto Sardis and unto Philadelphia and unto Laodicea so uh, the Lord's going to address these seven churches once we get to chapter 4 we, we actually have the messages in the Revelation that's going to come from the book of Revelation so a Revelation except itself the word is apocalyptic and it's not apocaly apocalyptic like uh some of these uh modern movies oh apocalypse of destruction no it's uh apocalyptic uh to reveal the hidden things and then of course y'all know revelation deals with the future so this is the prophecy of things to come because when it's god's word god's word is true if he said it's gonna happen it will happen so uh without further ado we're going to get into today's lesson which is going to come from Revelation chapter 21, uh, the first half. So verse 1 says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth are passed away, and there was no more sea. So when God makes things anew, of course, he spoke man into existence. Well, he spoke the whole universe into existence as it is already. So now we're talking about a, a new place. So uh, the new home... Uh, well, first of all, chapter 21 is, is, is in two parts. Uh, part one is the first eight verses. Uh, a new home. So we're talking about a new place for man. And then the second part is a new Jerusalem. So the, the holy city itself. Okay, so uh, just keeping on. Uh, everything is new here. Everything is new. This is prophecy. Uh, verse two says, And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now y'all know when a bride is adorned for her husband, a bride not gonna wear the raggedest clothes she can find, or she not gonna just be scrubbing the, 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 the tires on a car and come run to her husband. Now nah, she's gonna dress up, cause hey, it, we look at it as the bride's day. When, when, when a, uh, the feast of the wedding, we look at it as the bride's day. So the bride's gonna adorn herself, put on her pearls, her diamonds, whatever it is, 
uh, her smell good, uh, make sure the thing, uh, her gown is beautiful, uh, and she, she used to have a second opinion while she's trying it on in front of her friends to make sure everything is nice because this is the day. Okay, so uh, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Likewise, we want to, uh, you know, be covered with the blood of Jesus because grace, his grace is sufficient. And hallelujah, Lord, forgive us of our sins. Do a right spirit within us. Help us to be your people. You be our God. Number three, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Now, we know when we go to some of these churches, uh, whenever the pastor's there, it's like, okay, the pastor's there. And, and it's like you get kind of used to his way of preaching or whatever it is. And so when a, a, a different preacher comes, it's like, oh man, I, you know, I don't know, it's a, it's a different little attitude in the head when it's not the pastor sometimes. But hey, just think, God himself? Oh my goodness, you can't beat that. This is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Oh my goodness, if you don't hear the word from the word, oh wow, what, what, what great experience can you have? Hallelujah. And whoever sees Jesus, whoever sees them, you're, you're, different, you're a different person. Uh, verse 4 says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. The former things, all those ugly things. So look, no more death, no more crying, no more sorrow. Oh my goodness, so that's what I'm talking about. So there's a, a gladness. And that's why the words say rejoice. That's why the words say be, be thankful. And it's like, be thankful for what? You, the Lord woke you up this morning, you got something to be thankful for right then and there. And guess what? If you went through a, 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 a situation and you're still going through a situation, well, the Lord is keeping you through that situation. Don't really... Don't forget, there's footprints in the sand. Remember that scenario. Hey, Lord, well, uh, this is where I, I uh, was walking all by myself. No, no, this is where the Lord was carrying me through that situation. So remember, thank you, Lord, for carrying us through. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we take for granted. Thank you, Lord, for being there, even when we don't see. Verse 5 says, And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write. But these words are true and faithful. So God is not a man that he should lie. So hey, he said his words are true and faithful. So when he give this prophecy, when he give this instruction, this is it. This is the word of the Lord. So heed to it. Hallelujah. Don't be disobedient. Hallelujah. To be obedient is better than sacrifice. All right. Verse 6 says, And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. Now we all remember the woman at the well, the woman of Samaria at the well. And uh, you know, the scenario, well, hold on. First of all, you're talking to a uh, Samaritan and you're a Jew. Jesus is a Jew, well, hold on. Well, now uh, the word of the Lord is for everyone. It's not limited to the Jews biologically. Now we can all be Jews by just obeying the word of the Lord. So Gentile and Jew. So the word is open to all who listens and obeys and heeds to that word of the Lord. If you listen and, and, and heed to the word of the Lord, you are my brothers and sisters. That's what the Lord said. So hallelujah. So that means heirs to the kingdom. Oh, and then look, a new home. Oh, man. So in John 14 was mansion mansion so he didn't say little shacks you know he said i prepare a, a mansion hallelujah so keeping on going the water of life freely wow his word hallelujah. rivers of water hallelujah hallelujah it's, it's so much to say about the word of the lord hallelujah but hallelujah but we just thank the lord for his word uh, number seven, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. So, we, we go through all these tests and trials and tribulations, whatever the case may be. But when we overcome them, especially in the Christian, in the Christian, uh, in the Christian way, so we don't want to say, "Well, vengeance is mine." No, because the Lord said, "Vengeance is mine," saith the Lord. Not vengeance is the individuals walking down here on earth. Now, he may use certain people to do certain things, but God is the ultimate 
Hallelujah. He, he has the ultimate authority to take vigils on whom he will. And we're going to see throughout this book of Revelation that evil, evil ways, they will not exist. This, that's why it's a new home. So just like there's good things for good people, there's also bad things for those who, who hallelujah, disobey. Hallelujah. And, and, and heed to the evil things. So eight says, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So just like there's a new life, which is refreshing to those who heed to the word of the Lord, oh, there's a second death for those who don't. So yeah, we don't want to be in that second death. Hey, one is enough, huh? <laughs> Have mercy today, Lord. Have mercy on us. Help us to heed to your word so we can learn the first time. Take the test the first time and, and learn and keep on progressing. Uh, and, and hide your word in our hearts that we sin not against you in Jesus' name. Okay, the last verse is verse 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. So that's what it's all about. That's the conclusion right there, just about because God is coming for what? A church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. So the only way that's going to happen because all men fall short of the glory of God, right? All have sinned and fallen short. But hey, but when we cover with the blood, oh, wow, the blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And that's what we want to do. We want to be covered with that blood so when the Lord looks down, oh yeah, that's a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish right now. Come into my kingdom. Hallelujah. That's what we want him to see. Welcome, welcome in. And we, you know, hey, Lord, well, look, I've prepared a mansion for you, just for you, because you heed to the word of the Lord. You've overcome all these obstacles so that you can get to me, the Lord, God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come, the Alpha and Omega, the faithful and the truth. And his sayings are true. So this is prophecy, and the prophecy is true. In Jesus' name, let us heed to the word. Amen. Now for our final prayer. Turn on God, may we never forget your promises. May we not fear death. For we know that your son has conquered death. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pray Amen. Amen. Pray tayo. Walang hanggang Diyos naway huwag namin kalimutan ang inyong mga pangako. Naway hindi kami matakot sa kamatayan. Dahil alam namin na ang inyong anak ay nagtatagumpay sa kamatayan. Kanyang pangalan tayo ay nananalangin. Amen. Amen. Déjanos rezar. Eterno Dios, que nunca olvidemos de tus promesas, que no temamos a la muerte, porque sabemos que tu Hijo ha vencido la muerte. En el nombre de Jesús, oramos. Amén. 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 Ok, thanks again for our prayer. Thanks again to all the guys that read the scriptures. Thank you for all of our Filipino Tagalog translations that we had for all of the verses this time. Uh, for all nine verses and uh, Spanish and, and other languages that's involved with, with the ministry. So we thank y'all for that so, so we can reach out to, to those who uh, just we just reaching out a little further by, by having the foreign languages. So we thank the Lord for that. So uh, we, we stay in the book of Revelation, Apocalypse, uh, uh, so Spanish and uh, Tagalog translations both have an apocalyptic uh, view of Revelation, uh, revealing the hidden things. So thank you Lord for that. Our next lesson is going to be August the 14th. The title of it is A New City. It's going to be the last half of Revelation, verses 10 through 21. And we have a special guest speaker for that lesson. And uh, we will have all of the uh, Tagalog translations from you guys. And we also have Spanish and uh, Thai translations for the key verse for that lesson. So we thank all you guys for that. Thank y'all for this lesson. Uh, thank all you all guys. Uh, may God may you be a blessing uh, to you and your families. And may God keep you all safe out there on the water as we work our jobs and keep our families safe at home as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope to see y'all for the next lesson. Amen, amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. amen.